Hi everyone, in this video we will compare the number format exception with the input mismatch exception. So I'm going to first start by causing the program to have a number format exception. So I'm going to declare a integer variable called a number and now I'm going to ask the user to enter a number. And then I'm going to assign this number uh, that was entered by the user into a number. But first, um, we are going to, so if we take the input through a next line method, um, we need to pass this into an integer so that it fits with the data type of a number, which is an integer. So you need to use the integer wrapper class and it's passed int method. Okay, and maybe we could uh, print that message out. So initially I could give it a value zero and then I could print it out somewhere. Okay, now I'm going to run this code. And initially, if I put in any integer value, the program works exactly like it should. But if I put in some text like three, um, the program crashes. And so this is a runtime error that is caused based on user input. And it is called a number format exception. So I'm actually going to copy this. And, and I'm going to try and catch this exception. So the number format exception is caused when we try to um, pass or convert, convert a string that has got letters or characters to a number. So this is what causes the number format exception. Um, we can try and catch this exception. So we could try this. And we can catch it. And to catch, I'm just going to paste the exception that I copied. And I'm going to say the data type is each. That's just a name for the variable. And I'm going to just print out my own message. I'm going to say, um, can't convert a string to a number. OK. So now I'm going to run this and now I'm going to just put in a normal value that the program works as it should. But now if I put in the value three, I now get a, a better message. It says cannot convert uh, a string to a number. And I might want to only display this value after the try. Since anything, if anything is caught here um, successfully, then this should print. Um, sorry, if, if anything is not caught, then this line will print. But if an exception is caused here, the program will jump to the catch statement and then we'll go to the next line. Therefore, this will not print if an exception was caused, which is what we want. Because if I say three, I don't want it to give me the default value, which was zero. It just says cannot convert the string to a number. Okay, now we're going to force the program to cause the second type of exception, which was the input mismatch exception. So I'm going to actually uh, use the same uh, message, enter a number, and this time to, um, I'm going to actually, so what causes the uh, input mismatch exception is when we use a scanner method that does not receive what its expected value is or expected input data type is. So if I say input dot, um, and notice I'm just using the same variable again, uh, for explaining purposes, that should be fine. Okay, so there's not another problem here. 
but if the user so the scanner method is next int so we the scanner uh, method is expecting to receive an integer but if I send it anything else it's going to cause an input mismatch exception and so basically we can say the input mismatch exception is a um, when a a scanner method does not receive its expected input data type okay and for the number format exception is um, is caused when we try to pass or convert a string into a a number for this oh sorry in this example okay so in this example we're trying to pass a string into a number but this could be a double it could be a flow um, so yeah could be other examples um, in this situation um, it's expecting also an integer and let's print it out and let's run this program again so now I'm putting in the value so the first one works successfully uh, now I'm going to put in a integer value 33 that should be fine but now I'm gonna cause this to crash so the first one is has been dealt with it says cannot convert and the second one three so the scanner method is expecting an integer because we said next int but we gave it a string so we are now receiving an input mismatch exception I'm going to try and catch this exception so this is this is the part that could cause the exception so this is where you want to put the try block okay then we are going to actually I want this line to be there as well then I'm going to try and catch this and it's called input mismatch exception but this is going to complain because I actually need to import the um, the class as well okay so input mismatch exception that's been imported so I let the compiler do that for me and now I'm going to also send it a, a message but my message is number must be an integer okay I'm going to now run the program so the first time sorry I just need this to be a bit smaller so the first time uh, we have dealt with it it cannot convert so this is a number format exception we're trying to pass the text into a um, an integer which is not possible the second time is expecting um, the next int is expecting an integer but then we also gave it a, a string so it says must be an integer and notice anything if, if this exception is caught it jumps off to the next catch statement so this is skipped okay now after it's been caught it's going to execute whatever comes next so what comes next is this part here and if an exception is caught here whatever comes after this line is also skipped it goes on from here directly to the catch statement okay we can now organize this code to um, be in one try statement but I need to make a few changes since I can't reuse a number so I could put in first number and second number so if you want to organize this better I would say um, I would put it in like this enter first number and we can give this 
first number okay and first number is this value okay now I could also um, instead of having two I could have also another one enter second number and second number goes in here and everything else remains the same so the code can also be organized this way so I'm just gonna run this and three can't convert to a number the only thing with putting them in um, in both in, in one try block is if this catches if an exception is caught in here it will skip anything after that and it will just go to the next catch so it's having a an exception thrown here or here is like a return statement it just steps out of this whole block and comes into here so this is something for you to be aware of this is why sometimes you want to put it in only uh, its own separate try and catch block now if I run this again and the first time I don't have any exception the the uh, second line will execute but if an exception is thrown here that whatever comes after it which is line 19 will also be skipped so number must be an integer so that was just a recap on or a, a sort of like a comparison a close comparison between the number format exception and the input mismatch exception and I'll see you in the next video.